I'm leading the computational evolution group here at, here at ETH Zurich in Basel at the Department for Biosystem Science and Engineering. In my group, we focus on analyzing genetic sequencing data. In this current COVID pandemic, we look at SARS-CoV-2 genomes, namely the genomes of the virus causing the COVID disease. And by investigating the similarity and differences between genomes, we can actually assess if a person has been infected here in Switzerland or actually imported the infection from abroad. A key quantity in an epidemic is the so-called reproductive number. This number quantifies how many people a single infected individual will infect. And the number is influenced by two different characteristics. One is the virus, just biological properties of the virus. How easy is it transmittable? And the other feature is our behavior. Are we in close contact, giving the virus actually the chance to be transmitted? And what we see for SARS-CoV-2 is that prior to any interventions, the reproductive number was above 2, 2 to 3.5. And we see that for a variety of countries based on looking at genomic sequencing data of SARS-CoV-2. As a member of the National COVID-19 Task Force, I'm providing a real-time monitoring of the reproductive number to the government. The idea is that the authorities have real-time information on the state of the epidemic, meaning is the epidemic increasing in size when the reproductive number is above one, or is it actually under control, namely the reproductive number is below one. So for the Swiss National uh, Coronavirus Task Force, we provide um, data for Switzerland as a whole. But on our group app, we have uh, much more detail and we have estimates for uh, particular cantons, aggregated for uh, Swiss regions as well, and also for uh, different European countries. And so we can compare um, the data on Switzerland as a whole with cantons, for instance, uh, Baselstadt and Zurich. And what we see there is that the dynamics for Baselstadt and Zurich are similar to um, the Swiss-wide dynamics. And so it seems that in both of these cantons, the epidemic is also still under control, uh, even after the release of the lockdown measures uh, on May 11th. So in this project, we collaborate with Viole. Viole is a diagnostic company here in Basel Land. Um, and Viole gets samples from all over Switzerland. Um, we get them in extraction plates, and they are here stored in the minus 80 degree freezer. So here we have a collection of roughly 90 positive samples, and those are then processed for DNA sequencing. We are in the sequencing laboratory of the Genomics Facility Basel. Um, the Genomics Facility Basel is a joint facility of the University Basel and the ETH department BSSE. The viral genome sequencing takes place predominantly on this machine here, which is a MySeq sequencer, a benchtop sequencer. The sequencing itself is done with different kinds of cycles of imaging and biochemical cycles where the ACGs and Ts are incorporated as fluorescent dyes. And here we see, for example, um, one part of the flow cell where we see the sequences and after we have sequenced, which takes roughly two days, the data goes to Tanja Stadler for her um, phylogenetic analysis. We will continue collecting uh, genomic data of newly infected patients such that we can monitor in the future what happens. Understanding where new infections occur allows us to design appropriate public health interventions such that we can hopefully successfully contain the current epidemic.